that. Gowry man right so is gonna be in, in little growry in a couple of seconds. I hope he lies down in some shade there under that, that bushes over there. Come boy, lie down there for us. Sent for marking again. Ooh. Oh, he's really a big boy. Yeah. Look at that skin just hanging under, under his neck there. That, that's also another indication of, a, of age. I'm not sure how old uh, your down mall is. If anybody knows. Send that information through to file control at all of the TV, but uh, he, he looks very old to me. See, this guy understands my language. I have to ask him to lie down in some shade under that bushes, then, and, and he did so. It's not very common for a leopard to be moving around in the daylight and in, in, in this kind of a of a temperature. But it's still fairly fairly hot, so generally the the cats will be uh, taking it easy and conserving the energy by this time of the uh, of the day. His time is not full either, so he hasn't hasn't eaten for for the last couple of days or so. We don't see your down mall on a regular basis. So he's often up in the north, just north of uh, Belsa Cut Line. And, uh, that's where he's often seen. Yeah. So we see him. See him in the Western Gallery occasionally, just to come and check out on the gorilla and the cubs. But at one stage, or not at one stage, but it has been seen with the gorilla and the boys occasionally. Completely relaxed boy. Yeah. Mm. 
Mm. Thanks, Lay. Ah, and thanks, Lation. And foul control. And thanks, Lay, for joining us on the drive this afternoon. And uh, Lay M also identified this individual as my fifth as well. So, let's see, my Lay. I was looking for you earlier. To help us with the ID of this this animal, but uh, thanks very much. So this is my fifth. It's it's nice to see that the different different. different animals or different leopards in the area. Which we uh, we often see Mission Dina Gorilla and Sasekan Sasekan Tingani we haven't seen uh, for a long time, yeah. 